Do you mind not pointing that directly into my eyes? Yeah, sure. I don't have to. Do you mind telling me how all these bodies piled up in your apartment like Necro Tetris? We've told you, it's not our fault. Likely story there, Dahmer. You really mean to tell me you didn't kill these people, right? No. 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 All right. Fine. Tell me who that is. That's the girl, Christy Presco. She was dead when we found her. All right. Then who were these guys? The bad guys. You've never met them. Just the wants. Rocky Casero and Quint Cockrell. Names don't mean anything to you? Yeah. You've told us who they are three times. Said they have a long history of criminal record. They're bad guys? You don't seem surprised. You do know how we met them, right? Right. Any idea why they no. were? No. Let me save you some time. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Wednesday, 7. No. No. We don't know. Does that cover it? <laughs> to be honest, no. Not, not really. All right, um, this is my brother, Dolph. Whatever rap sheet you have on him, double it. When he's not doing drugs, he's probably stealing our furniture to be able to go buy more drugs. Fucking asshole. This is a Chinese place around the corner. The sweet and sour is pretty much pineapple juice and cherry Kool-Aid, but the teriyaki is not bad. This is Byron. Byron is Dolph's best friend. You name it, Byron's tried it. Byron invented the triple roofie, ecstasy, Twinkie Bratwurst. That doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, it sounds like it'll rape you with flavor. This is our other roommate, Sharon. Completely platonic. She's never home. Yeah, big drinker, party girl. Like Parker Posey. We've been over this. Yeah, I know. Got it all right here. Um, right, it's... Hang on, just a second. Notice to self. Greedy vote, needy vote, greedy vote, baby vote. Shit, sprinkles. You forgot to press record. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just... Okay, one more time, from the top. Let's go. Dolph and Byron stole our furniture. Again. So we were going down to the Club Baby Seal to get hammered. I fucking hate Byron. You know what pisses me off? These little swords piss me off. I mean, like, what the hell? Haha, -ha, double fisting it. On guard, ye. Uh oh, I see it is you, my arch nemesis. Shot ninja? It is I, bottle pirate. Have at ye. Ugh. Two men enter, and one man leaves. You're never gonna get laid acting like that. You're not getting laid, what's your secret? Christ, who do you have to blow to get some pussy in this place? Baker's dozen? <laughs> Shit, I'm not driving. Yeah, you are. Let's discuss that over a beer, too. Hi. So what are you having? Are you buying? Maybe. What's special tonight? You know, our domestic. Domestic? Beer? No. Housewife? No. Interested? See above. Shall I go on? Tart. Your, your drink is tart. Look, you can stop talking now, or I can go back over there and tell all of my friends about you. Hey, is that go for me too? They already know about you, Mr. Roboto. Yeah? Are they talking about me? She's pretty articulate for a drunk girl. You know, I'm fairly certain we're the drunk ones. Who the fuck says tart? If it comes up in conversation. Well, if it came up, it would be justified, but it didn't. Where the fuck are we gonna find a couch? You guys need a couch? You know one? Nah, just conversation. What the fuck was that? You're getting a little tart over here. Uh, dude, what the fuck? So nothing ever grows there. Oh, I just saw this something. What? You just gave me salty crotch? No. The, my uncle has a storage locker that he had before he died. 
and he left it in his will to me. And he paid for it to life. Dude, that's perfect. We can keep all the couches we don't have there. Oh, no. no. he already had stuff stored there. Like a couch. Or a lamp. Or untold riches. He had it paid through life, but he's dead. Where does that leave us? I hold the only key. Figuratively, I presume. Let's get out of here. I ordered food, so I've got to pay more. What? These are my fries, asshole. Oh, you want them? Yeah, take them. Oh my god, why is our furniture on our lawn? It's not our lawn, dumb shit. Oh. Alright, never mind. What the mean dumpin' baby water fuck is that? That's our shit! <coughs> Come on, get up. Get up, get up. Uh, we gotta get our shit. Alright, I'll tap that anyway. You know, I can't believe it. I mean, bring in our van. Stopping on this lawn. Level of coincidence here is amazing. This isn't one of those stupid self-referential movies, is it? It's a documentary, dumbass. They're all self-referential. Oh. I just hate it when they talk into the fucking camera. Canada, outlaw nation. Duck, dude. Duck. See, I told you. Lower taxes mean cutbacks. Now our garbage men gotta drive around in shitty minivans. I thought the city already owned his trucks. No, I think they rent them. I mean, where was their garbage truck? Why did the one garbage man throw up so much? Garbage is a breeding ground for disease. Speaking of glaucoma, pass me my lighter. Should we tell Billy we found his stash? And kill the free supply? Nah, let him think his friends are nicking it. You have a kind face. <clears throat> you have a couch. Oh. Mark. Oh. We have a couch. Oh. Steve, we have a couch. It's not a tall lamp. We never have one of those before. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or, or, or that. Or those. Where did that come from? Or, or that. Or. What is that? It's not what it looks like. It looks like, you know, body wrapped in garbage bags, so. Yeah, but it's definitely not a body wrapped in garbage bag. It's got to be a mannequin or something, right? Yeah. Something. Check it out. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. If you get curious, let me know. I'm gonna go uh, get some cheap cigars out of my humidor. You know what? I'm gonna go make some breakfast. Get eggs? You want some? Yes. Uh, uh, Steve? Mm-hmm? If what we think is in that bag is really in that bag, it cannot stay on top of me, and it cannot stay here. Yep. Dude, it's starting to smell. Sharon's gonna be coming home any minute, and she's gonna wonder what's inside it. We need to get rid of this thing. You don't say. Steve? What you need? Can you help me get this thing off me? Oh, yeah. I'll get right on that. Or I can just keep shouting louder every time you think I'm giving up. Try to read a book, are you, fucker? Fine. You can at least pause the game. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. First girl you go back to the apartment in months, she's not even breathing. Fuck you. Oh. You know what? She's still better than your last girlfriend. <laughs> Got me there. Conversation's better. <laughs> Actually, it smells a bit nicer, too. I think I get the point, Steve. Look, your last girlfriend did have a smoking body, all right? True. Yeah, shame her face was the ashtray. I hate you so much. So what do we do? I guess we should figure out who she is. Let's pat her down and check her for some idea. Something doesn't really feel right about this. Rooting through the pockets of the corpse we stole? No, she has three hips. Yeah, searching the corpse for a wallet. Doesn't feel right, man. Right. Hold on, I got something. Mm. Christy Presco. Oh, so that's set. All we have to do is uh, take that ad out in the penny saver, see if anybody wants a uh, Christy Presco, and uh, we're set. We can just leave her by the curb. There's an idea. We could always just drop her off. We have her address. You know, when nobody's home. Uh, what if she's missing? She's definitely missing. I mean, what if there's people looking for her? I said when nobody's home. Hey guys, I'm taking a nap. If anyone calls, I'll be off in my room. Hey, Sharon. Morning. Okay, uh, Mr. Presco, sir, uh, if you'll take a look. How long have we known each other? Uh, just a few short months, I think. I haven't been working. Call me Ross. Okay, uh, Ross, uh, just go ahead and take a look at your third quarter uh, shares here. My mother called me Ross, but you don't make lemonade, and you ain't half as pretty as she is. No, sir, I, I'm, I'm not. Our friends, they call me Bud. I'm your accountant, sir. You take care of my money. Makes you okay in my book. Get it? Book? Accountant? <laughs> if I say I don't, can we just move on? Now why do you want to talk business? I'm your accountant, sir. Now call me sir, call me Ross. Okay, Ross, should I answer that? That's the spirit. You got a fire in your eye. A spitfire. Yes, my uh, pappy saw the accounting fire in my eyes the first time he took me up to the old log cabin to reassess my first mortgage. Hello, Presco residents. No personal calls on my dollar, Ross. It's actually for you, sir. Hello? Ted? I'll just be over here writing your assets in crayon so you can understand them. Babble, if you need anything. You see, Mr. Prescott... Ross? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No, 
Well, that's not why... Sir, is this important? Friend of my daughter's. Oh, yeah, she's pretty. Real pretty girl. Oh, yes, she is. She was a very lovely girl. She... She is... A, she absolutely is. She could run a bulldozer like you wouldn't believe. She'd knock down trees and uproot things and she just didn't care. Really? Really? She could control people if she wanted to. Yeah, she knew what she was doing. And here's a little tidbit for you. I know she's not in Europe, sir. No, she's not. Well, I'll tell you, uh, she hasn't lived here for quite a while. Two years, you don't. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, like I was telling you, she's not here right now. Sir, we have your daughter, okay? No, sir, we have your daughter, and we want to make arrangements to get her back to you. She hasn't lived here in a while, but if she needs directions... Sir, Ross, but we don't want to leave your daughter's corpse on the front porch, all right? What? Oh, my God! Kane! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh God! Oh my! Um. Oh, you're you're dead, aren't you? Um. Well, uh, what what does one say in a moment like this? Uh, you were diversified in agricultural stocks. Uh, oranges and potatoes mostly. Uh, I. I should I should call somebody. What the fuck was that? What was what? He was rambling. He was going on and on and on. And then you jump in and threaten him? I didn't threaten him. I just told him we didn't want to leave his... Yeah. Fuck. Fuck indeedy, corpsey kid Napperson. So what do we do? <sighs> what do we do? What do you do? You pick up that phone, you call him back. I'm not calling him back. You call him back. Mr. Presco's just had a heart attack. Yeah, uh, can you send an ambu- Oh, uh, ho hold on for a second. Uh, hello? Uh, Bud Presco, please. Look, I've got, a uh, have got 911 on the other line, okay? Can, can you try back later? I understand. Thank you. Thanks. Yes, uh, yes, Presco residence, uh, Mr. Presco, uh, seems to have had a heart attack, or, or died. Fuck! What? They called 911. Great. Yes, um, I, I'm his accountant. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, please come. Thank you, I'll, I'll be waiting right here. Thank you. Dust. They're, they're coming. Well, they'll be here. Um, you just stay. We're kidnappers now. You realize when they find her body, we're gonna be first degree murderers. We didn't plan to kill her. We didn't kill her at all. So obviously we didn't plan it. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with her? What if somebody else was the kidnapper? That's a thought. Do you know somebody who could pull off a kidnapping? No. Perfect. I don't know anyone who would try and kidnap her, screw the whole thing up, get busted, get us off the hook while they go to jail for what we didn't do. Oh. Damn! Howdy, neighbors. You know, you got some uh, snoo on your front door. The fuck are you talking about? Nothing. What's new with you? <laughs> you guys up for some pipe dreams and hairy rains? Dumbass. Thanks, Machina. Pass on that, Byron. But... Got a little favor. What if I ever let you down? Uh, the furniture? Hey man, I got it back, all right? Yes, yes you did. And that's why you're the man for this job. We know that we can count on you. I can do it, I can do it. We've got a hottie, real turbo hottie. Yeah. Young, Yeah. needs a place to stay tonight. You need me to break into the zoo again? We need you to, uh, we need you to let this really, really hot chick Stay at your apartment tonight? Oh, hells yeah! 
Oh, wait a minute. No, no, something doesn't seem right here. Is that lamp new? Uh, no, we have all, we've always had that. Oh. Well, can I bang her? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, but we do appreciate it. That was Anything nice. you need, anytime you need me, I am there for you. I will be behind you all the way. Oh, but shit, you know what? I can't. I got this big anonymous party to go to. I mean, like, lots of drugs and loud music. Mass confusion. You guys should come and uh, bring the hottie. I think we might. I think we'll do that. I think we can. Yeah? yeah? All right. We were just saying we need to hang out with our good buddy Byron. That's what you have. Good ideas. Well, shit on a shingle. This is some place you got here. Well, it belongs or belonged to Mr. Presco before he passed. He was quite wealthy. Hmm, that's what bugs me. Why would somebody wealthy and all just up and pass away? Well, you had a heart attack. Mm, that just bugs me. Heart attack. It's too convenient. Actually, no, it wasn't at all. Well, crap on a cracker. The old man's heart medicine. Right next to his cane. 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 Oh, uh, gotcha. Mean something? No, no, uh, apparently not. Look, if you've got some fudge that's still on this muffin of a case, you better start spilling while the spilling's good. I'm not sure I follow what you mean, sir. Look, the daughter. Where's the daughter? Estranged, apparently. Someone called looking for her shortly before he died, but they've been out of touch for years. We should make her our A number one priority. She is the sole heir. A dong and a donut? She's the sole suspect. And a heart attack case. Very good, sir. I'll uh, get right on tracking her down. No, no, no. This is official police business. Really? Apparently this is not official police business. Hey, good luck tracking the girl down and you're welcome for the tip. Hey, thanks and uh, good luck with crime. Oh, this is obviously the place. I don't know, man. Somebody's definitely gonna notice. Nobody's gonna notice. Look, we get in there, we drop her off on the couch, just pretend she's passed out for a few minutes. In the morning, she's somebody else's problem. I like the Carmen pass card idea. But if you haven't noticed she's starting to reek of corpse, what are we gonna do when somebody notices the smell? Thought of that. Ha ha ha! Nice. Sam, where did you get that? Sharon's room. She is female. You went through our roommate's stuff? Don't you? Wesley Wabbit. Ha ha! Yeah. Alright, let's get in here. I got the door hold on. <laughs> So, I learned to do that by eating a whole strip of candy buttons without using my hands. Oh, sweet, the couch. Oh, perfect. Good. Oh, I got her. Oh. for a month. Only a month? Yeah, I was spread out over a year. Get in there. Oh, oh God damn woman! Whoa, come on! Come on! Ah, fuck! Nice. Oh, the necklace, not the breasts. Those are nice too. What cup size is that? Thirties. The necklace is nice, isn't it? It's cubic zirconia, but I think it looks like real diamonds, don't you? What do you think? Yeah, whatever. Well, that one. Oh, that's more annoying than anything. You sneak two liters into the theater and you're snatched. Ah! 
was less painful than it seemed. Come on! Oh, fuck! Come on! Come on, let's go! Let's go. It's like that time when I was at work and I lit both sides of my hair on fire. Oh, it was really bad. I walked outside and I took the lighter and I was having such a hard time and first the left side of my head goes up in flames and I put that out. And then I go with the right side and then that goes on fire too. And then finally I have my cigarette lit. But I guess it's good to have some problems in life. It's like this time when I got this soft shell taco and I opened it up and there are all these holes in it and I can't believe that is even true what they said. You know about the taco mites? I heard a whole report on that. And oh, I was just so disgusted, I threw it right in the trash. And it was right around lunchtime, except I hadn't had breakfast. It was between lunch and dinner, maybe brunch, and I was in, oh no, False Point. Yeah, I think it was False Point. Anyway, I guess it's true what that guy, Al Cap says. Life is better when you have some problems, because if we didn't have taco mites or something like that, then our problems would be having no problems. Or was it Andy Cat that said that? Oh, I just get them mixed up. I can never remember. It's impossible. I don't know. I prefer martinis. Oh, you don't say. What kind? I don't know. All of them? You fucked my room. You fucked my couch. Your couch was cleaner. Worst way my couch ever had. You could find your dick with a pair of tweezers. I'm easily downable. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. That's tough words, Clap Valley. Fucker. Gutter slut. Shit licking fuck bucket. Cum dumpster. Stinky winky doo doo train. Yeah. Fucker. You win. You're right, I do. I bummed this from. Terrible surprise. What is this? Who even smokes these anymore? I thought everyone was smoking menthols these days. And they're so hard to light. Can you believe it? God. Yeah, no. See, what you gotta do is let go of the pain. See, this, this is fire. Like the fires of the wars we wage. Fire's burning in the street, man. Like a, like a burning tire rolling down the street. You know? And that tire, it could have been a swing for like a child or an ape, but you gotta let that tire just roll on by, man, just roll on by. Because when you're clear of mind and spirit, then nothing can ever really hurt you at all. Yeah. Yeah, I get it, man. Whoa. Well, that's never happened before. Wow. Whew. So, is that good or bad? Karmically. But I know we always swore we're bound to be in each other's gravity. Fucking drink your ass, fucking cocky, little bitch, motherfucker. Cocky ass. Shit. 15% of nothing is still nothing, motherfucker. I got no brother. But you know what? Hey, you ain't heavy. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Got any digits? Just for that one. Me too. God, what a waste of a night. Very good time. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that pool table. You think they have an extra one? Cause I could see myself getting really good at that game. Good luck with that. Oh, fuck would we put a pool table everywhere after that? Oh, okay. Sorry. Wrong apartment. Hey, that's where you go. Hey, you guys have a good night. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, what's... Oh. Is there just someone at the door? I don't know. How's that going? I don't know. Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? 
Hey man, do you have any uh, a screwdriver or, or some tin foil? Uh, no. Who the fuck are you people? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, hey it's Steve. Joe. Okay. John. Hey. Hi. Hey. You seen a? You seen Dolph? What the fuck, Dolph? Hey man, what's up? Hey, what the fuck are these people doing in our apartment? Party had to go somewhere, man. Yeah. Here? What about your fucking apartment? Your place is a lot more roomy without the furniture. It's like a Zen dojo in here. Oh, God. Where the shit is our fuck? Oh, I was gonna ask you guys that, but I guess I won't now. Hey, hey, dude. You got any surgical tubing? Mm. What? I don't have any fucking surgical tubing. Go in the kitchen to the right hand side of the sink, second drawer down. Thanks, man. See you later, man. What? I can't believe you invited all these fucking people here. Man, don't write, man. Relax. Why don't you pull Bonnie? When have I ever smoked? First time for everything. It'll make you feel good. Come on, it's easy. You just go like this. You know what? THC. Tokers hate careers, and I'm gonna make something of my life. Mark, you see what you man? It's not working. Ah! Oh, listen, I don't smoke. What have I ever smoked with you? Well, first time for everything, man. No, no, there's not gonna be a first time, okay? I've explained this to you a thousand times. It's like throwing fuzzy darts at a greased waterfall. I only have two vices, all right? Beer and cigarettes, and that's all I need, man. I don't need these extra little... I can't deal with you fucking guys. I gotta go to bed. Okay. Fuck off. Steve, get up. Sexy dream with TV's Chelsea Noble and a lake of chocolate pudding. What? I need you to come look in the living room. I. Well, you remember that huge plan we had and we were toasting all night? Yeah. It's going awry. Wednesday. That's right, this week's recycling. True. And it's kind of hard to bundle them up with newspapers. It's going to be out there and conspicuous. Yeah. Actually, we should probably get a lot of these bottles of papers out of here. Yeah, corpses we can deal with later. Let's get this back to copacetic. One thing at a time. She was gonna be here. Is she unconscious? I'd say so. I think she hit her head wrong. Uh, you hit her head on the bookcase. All right. Maybe we should check for a pulse. Killed another one. We have a fake hostage and a dead junkie on our couch. What are we gonna do with this? We could run. Where to? Canada. What are we gonna do with these? Load them in the car and. Or 
we could leave them. What about all our stuff? I'm not that attached to it. Keeps disappearing on us every other day anyway. Byron will be happy. Let's roll. This feels weird. We should tell somebody. Yeah! Once we're over the border, come on. We gotta at least move the bodies. <sighs> Why? Somebody walks in our apartment and finds that pile of bodies in there? We're gonna be on our trail that much faster. We'll never make it. Yeah, all right, fine, let's go. I'm burning daylight. What do you think? Your room or my room? Byron goes through all our shit. It's just Sharon's room. She's never here. Yeah. Hey, you think she's gonna get freaked out? You know? I don't think so. news on the death of billionaire Bud Presco. Mr. Presco suffered a heart attack earlier today. Foul play is not suspected. The whereabouts are still unknown about his only surviving daughter, Christy Presco. If found, she will inherit his entire wealth. A reward has been offered. <coughs> That's the chick who was at the party last night. Oh man, she was so wasted. Once a week with his uh, so-called heart attack. So, so, he would keep saying that his, his left arm was numb, that he couldn't be a southpaw, or that he was a southpaw, or that he couldn't pitch, I don't know, something about a numb, well, you know. Anyway, I, I did what he wanted. I, I, I gave him a pacemaker made out of uh, Tinker Toys and, and an Atari 2600, did the best I could. He insisted on it. And then, and then, as if that wasn't enough, I prescribed some kind of feel-good medication. You know, he seemed to like Sudafed, and uh, I gave him that, made him feel a little bit better. And the only problem is, I warned him over and over again that taking a bath in, the, in a bunch of explosives is not a very good idea. Would he listen? Would he listen to the doctor? No. Many heart attack patients use nitroglycerin as a preventative measure. Now, on a lighter note, we will go to Carly Branfor, live from Rwanda. Mark? Steve? for a little bit, man. I'm oh, fine. Could turn down the radio, though. Yeah, no problem. Um, Steve, there's nothing playing. Oh. I just got a song stuck in my head. Great. What song? I have absolutely no idea. Never heard it before. It's kind of catchy, though. Yeah, maybe you better let me drive, Steve. Nah, don't worry about it. I'm good for at least another half hour. Pull over. No, look, I'm fine. No, dude, hitchhiker, pull over. Oh, okay, cool. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks a million. You get this far north and you don't expect anyone to actually pull over and stop. We're nice guys like that. I appreciate it. So where are you heading? Um, north. I don't care where. We're on our way to Canada. Canada? It's quite a haul. But it is north. Exactly. Let's say we get rolling. Listen, I was just about to light one up and you guys stopped. Do you mind if I smoke? Yeah, just, you know, crack a window. Look, I can't thank you guys enough for stopping. You're lifesavers. 
We don't get that very often. You don't seem like the type to bury a girl by the side of the road. God, why didn't we think of that? Oh, you just don't pay him attention. Something to read? What you got? Catch her in the rye? I'm fine. Choose your fate. What? You know, if you want to fight the goblins, turn to page 36. If you want to hide in the hallway, turn to page 97. Roll the die, multiple endings. Fine, sure. She got kids. Oh, don't mess with that. She's a relative. You're still trying to defend yourself for that? Dude, I don't have to defend shit, okay? Cindy's only my cousin by marriage. Yeah, real nice. Who's he daddy? Who's he daddy? Who's he daddy? Who's he daddy? Oh, you know Uncle Bob. He got you that bike last year for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Why don't you come over to the house for Thanksgiving for a turkey and a reach around? We make our own gravy. You know what, dude? That's got nothing to do with us. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if I'm related to this girl. Whatever. Looks like we're over the border. We're safe. We're in the clear now. We're taking an exit so that we can go get some beer. Because I really, really, really want to get drunk on some Molson right now. And unlike some people, I didn't get to drink all day. So, let me know if you see anything. Alright. Alright. So explain this to me one more time. Alright. Simple. She's got a couple of million dollars that she's not going to be using. We pretend that we've kidnapped her, they send us the ransom, and we get rich. Well, won't they want to talk to her? That's why we send them all the evidence that they're going to need up front. Wow, you really did think of everything. Yeah, I've gone over it a couple dozen times, and uh, I, I can't find a flaw. I mean, basically, it's a victimless crime, so I don't see a problem. Right. Now, here, hold up her arm. What for? For her fingers. Oh, that's what the clippers are for. <laughs> Hold it tight. Ah. Uh. 
Not what you were expecting? Well, looky here, we got ourselves some visitors. Here, let me take your jackets. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, welcome to Canada. Or as we like to call it, our home away from America. Why not just call it home? Yeah, that's the spirit. Fair enough. So what's good here? Oh, just about everything. Uh, we got gravy, fries, French toast, or flapjacks if you prefer. Steak and baked potatoes, pierogies, you name it. Spaghetti and meat sauce? Best in the province. Oh, uh, would that be beef, chicken, pork, or venison? Ah, beef. I think I'm gonna go with the French toast. Side of sausage? Uh, it's a little late in the day for breakfast, don't you think? It's never too late to start the day off right. It's 10.30 at night. Well, then that means breakfast is half price right now. I'll just go get your waitress. You're not our waitress? Oh, heavens no, I work down the street. Roger, who's waitressing tonight? Don't know, Doris. I'll take care of it, though. I'll just go hang these for you. Friendly place. I thought Delaware was friendly. Fuck Delaware! Nah, they're cool. All right, dude, I took care of everything you needed. I mailed the package, picked us up lunch, and got stamps. Where'd you get the stamps? Uh, convenience store on the way home. Fuck, Lump, the stamps were for the package. Oh. Oh, but don't worry, we can put them on when it gets back. What? All mail requires a valid return address. You put a return address on a fucking ransom note? Pretty smart, considering, huh? Ah, oh, idiot. I have an idea. All right, let's eat first, though. Uh, six ball? Yeah, corner pocket. Your stripes, we're solid. So how close is the nearest town to here? You're in it. Seriously? Well, yeah, I mean, it's the closest. I didn't say it was a big one. You just need a place to hole up for a couple days. Well, there's about 400 people up here on Old Lance Mountain. That's enough for you. What'd you do? Hmm? You know, murder, kidnapping, drug trade. You're one of them CEOs, are you? God, no. Nah, uh, just murder. Steve? We didn't do it. <sighs> like it matters. You guys are in Canada now. Canada has a rich history for being an international safe haven. People gotta run somewhere, they run to us. Guess that would explain all the French. Hey, give him a break. You're Canadian now, just like you and me. Fair enough. Beer? Yeah. Jeb? Yeah. Beer? Yeah. I already got you. Got me for what? Another beer. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'll take one. Yeah, me too. Take my shots for me. All right. So, uh, how'd you guys end up here in Canada? Well, Robbed about a dozen banks in the Midwest. Came up here for the exchange rate. Never left. I was the king. Oh my god. You're Elvis Presley? No, I was the king. You know, subjects, tariffs, the little crown. The fucking UN, eh? Wait, what happened? Don't ask. Well, let's just say fossil fuels and leave it at that. Hi. Hello. Oh. Bonjour. Oh, bilingual. Well, I'm all kinds of lingual. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlin. Steve. Oh, Steve, that's a pretty name. Thanks. Can I buy you a beer? No need. <laughs> so we each get two pockets. Right. And we get all the balls in motion, right? Once they're all moving, we start grabbing them, getting them to whatever pockets you've designated for yourself. Like that hippo game. No, it's not like the hip... Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of like that hippo game. God, I can't believe I never realized that. Well, how do we keep score? We get one point for every ball. Well, how do we keep track of what we got? You look in the... pockets... that, um... I guess we just keep count. This isn't a very smart game, is it? No. No, it's not. All right, well, I want this pocket and that pocket. A bear, you might want to take two pockets that are next to each other. Now, if it's not going to be a smart game, I at least want it to be complicated. 
Yeah, did you know that the Canadian ecology is amongst one of the cleanest in the world? Hey, except on the American borders. Yeah, sorry about that. Eh, no biggie. You know a lot about this stuff. I've done a few reports on it. I didn't last very long in college. Mm, that's personal, Steve. Oh, I mean, yeah, I just hit the sheets a little more than I hit the papers, if you know what I mean. Probably not. I never went to college. So you're not in school? No, I just do reports. Like a journalist, then? <laughs> no, it's... it's kind of a hobby, really. And some of it gets published, but mostly I just do it for me. Can I buy you a beer? <sighs> yes, Steve, you can buy me a beer. There's no way you got seven. Dude, I'm certain of it. Look, I got six, and then Caitlin got one. That one doesn't count. Agreed. Caitlin, are you playing? No. Nope. All right, agreed. So how many did you get? Well, I got the two, I got the 11, and the 14, so that's three, all together. Wait a second, you marked down each individual one? I guess that's why I only got three. At least I know how much I got. Yeah, well by my math, you get five. That makes me the winner. Wouldn't you want anyway? No, because you can't win by just one. Who well, made up that rule? Uh, this guy I ran into this time when kind of know his sister dated my mate. Oh, okay then. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go get some smokes. I'll see you guys in a minute. What's up, boss? Hey, you guys got American cigarettes? Ingrid? Can I get a pack? Thank you. Baltimore County Courthouse. I want my money, okay? I didn't put up with my daddy's shit. For all those fucking years to be dissed, okay? I'm driving around in a BMW that's two years old. Two! Two fucking years old! I want my goddamn money! Hook me up! What the fuck? God! I killed her! Him? I fucking killed her! You killed him! You, well, him was, was, wasn't a him when I killed him! Him was a her when it was a she and she died! He isn't dead. Oh, she will be! Fucking A! Let's get that son or a bitch! Yeah! What? I don't know. Let's go. Why are we watching Canadian news? Because apparently it's the only news that matters! Can't argue with that. I don't like it, but I can't argue with it. While nobody knows the man's identity, his claims were immediately refuted. That fucker was shit out of luck. Oh. My. God. What's up? They can say shit on television here? <laughs> yeah, you can say anything on Canadian television. Nice! Oh, man. So that's why I avoid rope swings now. Nothing? Nothing at all. Dude, we need to talk. Can I wait? Yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. If he couldn't remember whatever he had to tell me in the days upon days we were stuck in that car, it can wait a few more hours. Wait a minute. Days? Where are you guys coming from? Uh, it can't wait, dude. Can you excuse me a minute? Sure. I just need him for a sec. Do you mind? I'm trying to get some Kanuki here. We can't do this, dude. We have to go back. Why? We're scot-free! Canada was built on people in our situation. Yeah, but meanwhile back home, there's some innocent people who are gonna go to jail for what we did. We're innocent! Why should it be us? If we go back, if we explain what happened, we'll be okay. I have a cousin who's a lawyer. He'll help us out. Tell you what. You go back, talk to your cousin who's a lawyer, give me a call, let me know how it turns out. We're in this together, man. Says you. What about our friends? Huh? What about our families? What about fuck them? Okay? You're gonna throw all that away over a good chance to get laid? A very good chance. You're gonna be able to live for the rest of your life on Canadian national football? No fourth down clutch plays? Shorter quarters? That's not the man I know. You're not
You're not going to let this go, are you? No. Great. Okay, fine. Fine. We go back. We'll see what we can do anonymously. And at the very, very first sign of trouble, we bolt. Okay? Fair enough. Say, can we leave in the morning? Yeah. Cool. Hey, five bucks says you score. You're on. Oh, wait, you said I score? Yeah, you already shook on it, sucker. I'll see that cash in the morning. You're serious? Absolutely. I got to get my percentage. You gonna get it? My boy's gonna eat. Fair enough. <sighs> Sorry about that. What was that about? Uh, that whole triple homicide kidnapping thing. Apparently we've got to leave in the morning. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. So I was really getting to like you. Yeah. I really like you too, Steve. You're really nice to talk to. Talk to? Yeah. I bet we could stay up all night just talking. Yeah. Sure we could. But, I mean, I've got the drive in the morning. Oh, yeah, right. Fall asleep at the wheel, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you excuse me one more moment? Yeah. You know what? We can roll now. She just wants to talk. Yeah? You don't want to grab her email address or a MySpace profile or something? I mean, we might come back here sometime. Yeah, why bother? Let's just get this over with, okay? All right, man. All right, give me a chance to say goodbye. I'll be here. All right. Change of plans. Um, we're heading out tonight. Well, how soon are you leaving? Basically, once we get the bar tab and settle up, we've got to roll. Oh, that sucks. I was going to ask you if you wanted to go a couple of rounds. <sighs> I've already had more than my share. <laughs> no stupid sex. You know, screwing. Oh my god, you lay on me, I lay on you, the whole penis vagina combo. So then what was all that about talking? Oh yeah, I love talking to you. You're like a good buddy. A good buddy? Mm -hmm. Who you want to sleep with? You don't? I do. Okay. Gosh, you Americans are so uptight about sex. Up here we do it all the time. Why do you think our hockey season is so long? Let me talk to Mark. See if there's a way maybe we could stay the night, you know, talk him into the stay until morning. Right? No, no, that head start's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. But you know, I only live right down the road, so we can go back there, we can bang out a couple of O's. You guys can get your head start, and I can get back here and get a couple more rounds. I can work with that. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Quick detour. So, I left the keys in the ignition if you, you know, want to listen on the radio or anything while I'm busy, but I'll be back in a couple minutes. Don't flatter yourself. <sighs> Sanskrit okay? Uh, try Braille. The United States is bordered by two friendly nations, Canada and Mexico. There is a friendly feeling at this border. Pathetic. 
my dog can do better. Well, if you get me some peanut butter, maybe I can try. Is that all it takes? A little peanut butter? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. On me or you? You can try a little of color me, a little of color. No. Okay. If you don't want to go. Concentrate. Alright, fine, I'm hungry. Well then eat! Alright, I'm fine! Hungry. Wait a minute! Whoa! I was just kidding. On the Canadian side of the line, the Canadian Customs and Immigration Officers inspect cars that enter and leave Canada. Nothing. Come on, cowboy, come up for air. Canada sends many things to the United States, like furs and English china. So did you? Oh. I think you would really like my parents. Hey guys, everything go all right? I can finish later. We had sex. Three times. Twice. Just kind of stop and start. Sex, huh? Is that what you call it? It was awesome. Sorry. Can you ride back to the bar? No, I'm gonna stay here and shower a couple of times. It was nice knowing you. Same. Oh, you can let yourself out. Cool. Okay. That's probably gone out, huh? Yeah. Americans. Uh, 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 uh. Need a hand? Uh, got you covered. Uh. Verb, past tense. Uh, snarled. Not funny, but okay. Uh, piece of clothing. Apron. Also not funny. <sighs> Adjective. Uh, oh, roof. You know, if you keep picking things that make sense, this isn't going to be funny at all. It's that Robert Frost poem, isn't it? Yeah. You suck. I need some fresh air. Can I get a cigarette? You want one? Is she awake? No. Get another one. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. We wouldn't have to worry about it if you didn't leave the engine running. <laughs> Look, Mom, this is not my fault. Okay. My fault. Now that we've got blame assigned and parcel out, uh, what are we gonna do moving forward? What are we gonna do with her? Could leave her buried on the side of the road. Though she kinda asked us not to. Fucking weebolo. Look, I didn't promise jack shit. Still, could look at the bright side. What's the bright side? I got me the Canada. You know what? I can feel the toxins leaving my body. This is great. Oh my god, everything's good. She's back. She's alive again. This everything's great because you got Northern Nookie. I'm so proud of you. You don't have to be crude about it. I don't know how I'm supposed to be about it. What are we going to do? Let's just worry about it when we get home. Fair enough. Come on, just bring the body, man. If you give me a hand, it'd be nice. Uh, who's going to open the door then? Well, why don't you get started on that? Put her down. Shit. Right here. Oh. 
House? Looks like Starkweather's Slumberland. I know what it feels like to be Rosie O'Donnell's maxi pad. Can we get a stoner statue? Hey guys, look, I know it looks bad, okay, but I think I have an idea. Was this your last idea? Yeah, there was just a few unforeseen snags. You don't say. Like this guy, then there was the bathtub issue, and then the muriatic acid, and then the weed trimmer. And then there was the, the masking tape. Duct tape? Duct tape. Ah, oh, that would have worked a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> stapler. I don't know what I was thinking about the stapler. <laughs> ah, yeah, boy. Yeah, that was something else. You know, it's not too bad. I mean, you know. Little elbow grease, little uh, TLC. You know, we can uh, we can make this work. It's not it's not that bad. Who's that guy? Yeah, where did he come from? <laughs> you know, that guy actually. Uh, it's funny uh, story. He um, really didn't have anything to do with any of this. <laughs> he uh, he was selling uh, Bibles and uh, <laughs> not his fucking day. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, I it's, guess he didn't get to that chapter. Yeah, man. I was like, where's your god now? And uh, he's fucking all over the place. How many bodies is this? Uh... <laughs> uh... Count the heads. You know, once you start cutting them up, I mean, you got a leg, you got a torso, you got a head. Don't worry about, like, the actual body count. Just thinking, like, poundage. Never mind. Mark, roof, now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 guys, 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 guys. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool. What? You said the first sign of trouble. We can clean this up. Not a chance. Isn't it worth a try? You came back, didn't you? You wanted to set things right? Now what, you're gonna, you're gonna bail? Just cause you add one more body to the mix and we add a couple, you're gonna leave? This isn't just my mess, okay? This is us trying to clean up your mess. Not that one guy, that, that, that was all me. Uh, the rest of it though started with you. What are you gonna do, you're gonna walk through life? forever just being a victim life's gonna happen to you you're not gonna happen to it you know move into a double wide trailer with some fat tub of shit housewife eat macaroni and cheese with your fingers all silver from scratch off tickets because that's your only hope when life gives you dead drifters you make drifter aid no, i'm gonna stick around i'm gonna clean this up i don't know what you're gonna do but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna just walk away and slough it off not me i'm not doing that i'm not bailing okay I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna fix this. You don't think we can do it? Fine, walk away. I'm not a quitter. There's room for four. Canada Ho. Manitoba Red is tremendous. I have no brother. I drove. <laughs> Keys? I'm staying. What's the plan? It's simple. Byron.
You're gonna you're gonna chicken out. You're gonna split, right? <laughs> we were going to, but you know what? You were right. A little bit of spackle, some spit shine, a little elbow grease. Yeah. Any other hack phrases you can think of? You know, I didn't believe you guys when you said we could clean this apartment. But I gotta admit, I love it when a plan to cover up a mass homicide comes together. Yeah. Well, how's anyone ever gonna know that we killed people in here? By never speaking of it again. You ever think of letting this go? I don't know. Bitch gotta pay. What did she do? It's complicated. I got time. I said it's complicated. You don't remember, do you? I remember. You've been drinking a lot lately. So? So, you have a short fuse? And you had a few blackouts? Just name one time. Becky's party? That kid had school pictures the next day. Fine. And, and where did that furniture come from? I said I'll cut back. Uh, easier said than done. Do you really think she'll come here? She has to. She always used to come here. I don't think she's coming. You got a better idea? We go shoot some pool? I'll pay. There, now it looks broken down. Because you've ever had a car that didn't? Hey, anybody else think we should have done this at night? Look, an abandoned road's an abandoned road. Besides, it's easier to see this way. How deep do you think we should dig? Till we get tired. Hold on a second, I hit something. You're not gonna believe this. What, a skateboard? Eh, I would be surprised if we found one. It's a skull. See? And more. It looks pretty old. At least that means it's a pretty good spot to bury a body. Yeah. I say we go about that deep. Just like a side by side, or I don't know. Should we take that one out? Yeah, just stack them up. Actually, no. Put ours under that one. That way, they find that one first. I like how you're thinking. Anybody here? Hello? Did you just hear something? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, you know what? I heard, let's hurry up. Double time it, guys. Yeah, come on. Somebody out there! Okay, I know I heard something that time. Yeah, I heard it too. Dude. We gotta go find out what the fuck that was. Wait a second, this isn't where we parked. Fuck this. We're leaving. We're done. It's oh, over. Come on, man. The grave's halfway there. All that work, can we bury a couple bodies? At least? Lighten the load? Oh, hey, man. Do you think this guy knows this is our car? Listen, people. Somebody drives by. They're gonna report this to the police. We're gonna be in the woods burying the bodies you wanna finish. They're gonna take our car, come looking for us. Our only chance is to hightail it, and I'm not in the shape to do that. We're done, it's over. All right, I'll see if it'll move. 
Alright, let's see if we can start this thing. Looks like the body cushioned most of the impact. <laughs> It'll drive. <laughs> Pull up a little bit. I'm trying. Can we just leave them? And them? Look, just pull back a little bit. You're on his leg. Whoa, I said pull back. Bitch. You guys mind if I smoke up back here? Let's just go home and get some beer. So what do you say? Try again tomorrow? What, burying the corpses? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, it went so well today. Well, on the plus side, that deserted road's a little bit more deserted now. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> True. Yeah. I can't do tomorrow, though. I mean, I gotta get back to work. They're gonna start missing me there. <laughs> hey, bad news. Yeah, I got your note. The furniture's back? Yeah. Did you guys move it? No, yeah, we've been gone all day. Yeah. Then somebody stole it? Yeah, probably. Then why is it here? It does that. What's that? Is this your apartment, ma'am? Yeah, but my furniture's back, so it's all right. Are you sure? We can look for evidence. Yeah, I got nothing better to do. Nah, it's not necessary. This is all just a, a big threes company misunderstanding. <laughs> if you're sure, I'd hate to make another trip. Those stairs are a bitch. What the fuck is that? That? That's garbage. No, I know that smell. <clears throat> Not what I thought it was. Is that an arm? Who is it? We've got it in the dumpster and we actually were just about to call you guys and <laughs> we were getting ready for you actually. By soaking it in bleach. And fried onions? You smell that? I think it's safe to say you're under arrest. Hey, we didn't invite you guys in here. You don't have probable cause. I think we do. Besides, that only works on vampires. What's with you? Vampires? I haven't been sleeping much lately. Alright, everybody, hands in the air. Hey, bitch! This time you're gonna stay dead! Hello, officers. What are you doing here? Nothing. It's, it's cool. I know these guys. What's your problem with Lonnie? Not her. Her. Does anybody want a soda? Something caffeine free if you got it. Put your hand down. God. What? What? Are you on something? No. Meth. Yes. Meth. That shit will kill you. Oh, that's great. Scare him straight. Why the hell did you get a gun? Went with the purse. Everybody, just put down your guns. No, you put down yours. Honey, he's on our side. Like hell I am. You're all still under arrest. Hey, I brought you here. Be right back. Oh, me too. Two shakes. Hey, wait a minute. Take a shot. Hey, get back here. Sarge, this is Officer Speed. We're gonna need some backup. Holy shit! What? did my furniture get in here? Your furniture? Well, I mean, you know, you did kind of buy it fair and square. Oh, hell no. Let me borrow your gun. Well, dang it. I found it. Then how did you get a gun oh, from? Oh, sorry, 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 my bad. <laughs> uh, I found it in my room, man. Where's yours? I don't have one. Oh, sucks to be you, man. <laughs> Alright, what's going on out here? <laughs> That's just great. You just shot another man. So did they. 
Get the cuffs. All right, hold it. I got an idea. I know how all this is going to work out just fine. Let's go take this to the boss. You guys just hang out here. Yeah. Thanks for uh, wasting our time today. Yeah. Any time. I think I did this time, so. Good. Yeah, I can't believe you forgot it. Yeah, you well, you know, what are you going to do? Stupid technology. One button. Stay put. story is full of holes. Yeah, there was absolutely no mention of the hitchhiker, the car wash, the fishermen, or where all that rice came from. Really? So you're saying they don't have a clue on what really happened? Not a one. Well then, gentlemen, we are rich. Really? Well, where's our cut? Ah, right. There you go. Good for a free game, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Shoe rentals extra. 
I've got my own, sir. I've got my own.